I cannot say no to a big cone of ice cream. Some people complain about not being able to be on time for anything. Some others can't control their anger. Humans are weak in many ways. But I think that the greatest weakness of humans is, oh, well, spoiler, is that we die. Is that we not live forever. That's exactly why we need to rely on the information that has passed on to us through earlier generations. We, as individuals, do not have a lifetime long enough to reinvent the wheel, the engine, and the automobile. We know that we are mortal, and that's why we have learned to accumulate information by learning from previous generations' experiences in order not to make the same mistakes and not to travel the same roads. We know that we cannot and do not have to travel every road that have been traveled by others. The only road that we have to travel is the one which hasn't been traveled yet. Relying on the information gathered from the past, we have to make our way into the future. For instance, in search for fame and fortune, Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan has set out from Spain in 1590 with his fleet of five ships in order to discover a western sea route to Spice Islands. En route, he discovered what is now known as the Strait of Magellan and he became the first European to cross the Pacific Ocean. However, we should definitely give credit to some other people too. For instance, Magellan used the compass, which was invented by the Han Dynasty of China. And he used a ship, of course, which was invented by the ancient Egyptians. As we see, Magellan relied on the findings of other people who lived a long way before himself. In this example, we see the accumulation of knowledge, which became possible by the distribution of knowledge through generations. Now, I want to clarify how knowledge extends through time. In ancient times, people needed to measure time in order to determine the seasons, decide their next sections, and worship their gods, which they would better be on time. So, what did they use to measure time? Stars. They noticed that the stars make circular motions every day, and they moved a bit in the sky. They also noticed that when a year is completed, the stars make one complete revolution and return to their initial positions. Their capacity to think enabled them to process the information which they perceived. Eventually, the Near East and Greek calendars were based on the star calendar system, which one year was made up of 360 days. They could not detect that a year was actually composed of 365 days because they used sundials, basically lack of technology. This discovery was communicated through generations. Eventually, this knowledge of dividing the circle has led to the creation of the fact that a circle had 360 degrees. Also, the fact that there are 360 meridians is based on this piece of knowledge. As we see, the flow of knowledge has led to the creation of the most commonly used trigonometric and geographic facts. This shows how knowledge can be built upon previous knowledge which was accumulated through generations. Now, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard about Marco Polo? He gathered knowledge throughout his trips and he stored all his knowledge by writing it down. And if I want to add information upon his previous experiences, first I need to learn what he has seen. And I should inform myself about the culture of people where Marco Polo visited. However, if I was going to repeat all the process which Marco Polo went through, I would end up by being a 70 years old sweet old lady who didn't have anything different than Marco Polo's previous ideas. To prevent this dramatic ending, I don't travel old roads that he has. Instead, I get his knowledge through communication. 
Also, the other people who lived after Marco Polo didn't have to travel all the roads that he has because Polo's knowledge could be distributed by communication. Therefore, humans could add to the knowledge gained by Marco Polo by discovering new places, new inventions, and new roads. As Newton said, if I've seen further, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants. This quote supports the fact that humans do not have to travel every road that have been traveled by others. Instead, they get the information needed and continue in their paths. That's why we basically store and extend the knowledge gained in roads which have been traveled by others. The knowledge we use today, our relationships, our society, so basically we are made up of this knowledge which was accumulated through generations. That's why the main thing which makes us human is the ability of utilizing the knowledge gained in rows that we personally did not travel. So in order to get humanity to a high level, climb up on the shoulders of giants and see how far you can get. Thank you.